Hi, it's Jeannie from Jeannie's Favorite Products. So yesterday I did an unboxing video on the Mimi Box Special number six whole grains box. Um, but after I did the video, I was really too tired and I couldn't do the second unboxing video. Um, so today I'm planning to do that now. Um, the second box that I received yesterday was the Mimi Box Super Box number 24 waxing. Um, I also received it on one of these packagings. Um, it's bubble wrapped inside. Um, so you might be wondering why I didn't receive it in like a cardboard box because normally when you order two or more mini boxes and if they ship out together then they should be sent in a cardboard box. But um, as I mentioned in my video yesterday, I ordered both of these boxes using different accounts because I wanted to take um, I wanted to take advantage of the $15 off discount coupon that they had. And so I ordered through two different accounts and so they were shipped separately. And this waxing box was actually shipped out on the July 1st, but I ordered it a few days later and so it took a while for this box to get to me. So many people have received this box already. And so um, there's not going to be anything special in this video, but I thought I might do it anyway, just in case if anyone wants to see it and if they miss this box and they know what they missed. And so, yeah, let's get on with it. Um, so this box, again, it comes in a pink box, hot pink box. And it also comes with an information card with pictures of the products and also with the product description and also how to use the products. So in this box there are actually five products. Um, the first one is the Intercost Smooth Sensitive Removal Cream 150ml, which is this one here. It says that it retails for $36. Um, the prices are usually inflated on the information cards and so it kind of makes the product feel like it's it, it kind of makes the box feel like it's worth more than just the price that they sell you it for but anyway it usually is worth higher but anyway okay so this this removal cream um it's a full-size product it says when summer comes around the corner every girl needs a proper waxing for her underarms legs, arms, and bikini lines. With Intercost Sensational Hair Removal Cream, waxing can become so much quicker and easier. There's no need for a razor blade or a painful waxing procedure anymore. Simply apply the removal cream and after five to 10 minutes, rinse it off in a shower. So um, the way to use it is you apply the removal cream on areas you wish to wax, you wait for five to 10 minutes, and then you just jump in the shower and rinse it off. Um, this kind of reminds me of the feet removal cream. Um, I think it comes, the feet one, it comes in like a pump bottle. You just squirt it out, kind of apply it to your legs or wherever. And then after the five to 10 minutes, or maybe just even less, I haven't used it for a long time. I don't really remember. Um, you just scrape it off using the fake razor blade that they give you. It kind of reminds me of that, but this is uh, in a form of a cream. Um, it just looks like this. It's quite a big jar. Um, I did open it up to smell what it smelled like before. The, the smell is not great. Mm, yeah, it's kind of like a chemical smell. I kind of like the Beats one. Um, not special. But I do hope it works. So that's number one. Um, the second product in this box is the Benton Aloe Propolis Soothing Gel 100 ml and it says it retails for $15. Um, Benton's Aloe Propolis Soothing Gel is suitable for all types of skin, especially for troubled sensitive that are easily irritated by external environments. The soothing gel contains 80% of aloe, aloe barbadensis leaf juice, and 10% of propolis extracts for moisturizing, soothing, and protecting your skin from possible damages or loosing moisture. The, the English kind of sounds weird on this card. Also, propolis extracts deliver skin relief and relaxation. So the way to use it is um, you can use it after toner and essence application as another step of the skincare routine, or you can just use it to treat red, red spots and blemishes on your face. Um, it says that it's also very effective when used on your red irritated skin after shaving or peeling. 
So um, just by looking at it, this is just like a soothing kind of thing for your red skin and red irritated skin after shaving or waxing or whatever. So it did kind of like sound like a good product to use to try. But then I um, read on MakeupTalk.com. Um, it's a forum where many people discuss the products inside movie boxes as well as other beauty boxes. Um, someone was very kind to share with us that this a special line of Benton, they are um, contaminated with mold. Although they say it's like a specific line, they say that the Alloy Propolis line is okay to use. They, they really used okay. Um, but a blogger online, she actually reviewed it. She ordered like 10 bottles of these and she opened every bottle up and she it was just really disgusting because she said the color and the scent of every bottle of these were different. Um, of course the normal bottle was the original bottle which is normal. It's supposed to be um, colorless, transparent, it's supposed to have no scent and nothing at all. But they were really disgusting ones and um, she did post photos of it and it says or it showed that the liquid inside was orange and then you could see mold parts and like mold particles inside and it's well she said that it had like a sweet scent so um she found that only two or three bottles out of the 10 that she bought were okay to use but um i'm not sure if this is affected because it says that the date of the manufacturing date of this one is um may the 30th 2014 but the ones that were contaminated were produced in March so I'm not sure if this is contaminated or not but I would test it on like my hand first because the blogger who did um, review this product she had quite a big reaction to the product on her face um, so yeah um, I'm not so excited about this product anymore although I was when I first looked at it because it contains propolis but yeah I, I might be really cautious about using this product if I really do have to use it okay so um number three is the angel factory underarm white peeling perfume five each it says it retails for thirty dollars so they actually look like this it kind of looks like a mask and you get five of them um, it looks like it's got a step one and step two and yeah okay so it says if you've been troubling over darkened spots and even skin tones or unnecessary odor from your from under your arms this is the perfect solution for you follow the quick three steps to care for your underarms after having waxed them use the yellow side of the peeling pad to cleanse your underarms exfoliating any excessive dead skin and wastes and then you use the white side of the peeling pad to finish off cleansing and to moisturize and then after all that you apply the white cream over your underarms to instantly brush it up and balance out the even skin tone um, I don't have much of a waxing problem but um, some parts are a little darkened so I might try one of these I mean they do give you five to try and so it's not just like a one-off kind of thing so um, after kind of prolonged use maybe I'll see some difference okay so the fourth product in this box is the Ray Pearls shaving and face wash 200 grams it says it retails for ten dollars it looks like this um, it says that it's a super innovative shaving cream made in a chewy texture chewy which stretches out like a gum its gum-like texture allows it to adhere tightly to the skin and protect your skin from possible razor blade cuts. What's more, this product can be used by men as well, to be utilized as both a shaving and a face wash. The gentle formula and the chewy texture works to minimize skin blemishes and irritations. So the way to use it is that you lather the shaving cream and apply on areas you wish to cleanse or shave, and then you rinse off. I actually want to see how chewy it is. So, okay, it is really um, elastic-y, 
it yeah the texture is really weird oh oh I can't get rid of it um yeah it's kind of weird it's really elastic -y, as it says it kind of reminds me of the bounce cheese cream by dear and brownie although this is much chewier it's much more cheesier than the elastic cream okay that's quite eerie on my skin it doesn't really smell of much it kind of smells it has like a light a really light kind of baby soap scent which is okay okay so the fifth and last product is the Dorco Tingle 3 for women to each it's actually a shaving it's like a razor blade oh it comes in two pretty colors which is great so it says that Dorco's shaving razor is designed especially for women smoothly and gently removes hair without irritating your skin so you first apply a shaving cream and then shave it off with the razor so I guess you can use it with this one like this shave it off later um and then at the back it's all Korean but it says that it has a moving head and I don't understand the rest but it looks like this oh and inside the box it also comes with like a wooden thing I guess you use it with the removal cream so um that's the end of my box I don't have anything else inside um I actually wanted to mention that I never intended to buy this box in the first place and I only bought it because my husband needed it and well he asked me about ways to kind of get rid of the hair underneath his armpits and I suggested plucking or shaving but he rejected to both of my ideas because he believes that by shaving that it will make the hair thicker but in reality it's only the roots that be become thicker because you just shaved it and then when it grows out then it'll be thinner but I don't know but he got the impression that when you shave then it becomes thicker and so he didn't want to shave and um, plucking was just too painful for him honestly I find plucking okay because I don't have a lot of pubic hair and maybe because that my hairs are quite thin and so I always just pluck and I find it very fine and I only have like a few so I don't really have problems so this box is mainly bought for my husband, but um, I'm quite surprised because although the box's name is called Waxing Box, there's actually no waxing product inside. I'm actually quite glad there are no waxing products inside because I wouldn't use it because I read that waxing is even more painful than just plucking. Because in plucking, you can, just, you can control what you pluck, but um, when you shave, you can't because you just have to rip it all off. And so I'm pretty happy that there are no waxing products inside, but maybe the name of the box is a little wrong it's kind of confusing or misleading and um, I'm not sure what products will suit my husband because they all seem to be for women except for the shaving cream which says that you can use it for men as well but I realize my husband doesn't use any shaving cream before he shaves anyway so I don't know how he's gonna incorporate all these products into his like original regime but I think maybe this will be the most convenient product for him because it's not painful at all and if it really does get rid of all the hair then perfect right and I guess these masks will work for him too but I guess it doesn't matter for him like it wouldn't matter if it's like white or not like under your armpits because he's a guy but um I could try it just to review the product you know so yeah that's the end of my box um I guess I'm okay with it but because I'm not really the person who's going to make most use of it, so I'm not like, wow. Um, but I do think that it's not as worth it as the other boxes, the other two boxes that I received recently, which is the whole grain and also the oriental medicine. And so I'm not really sure if I'm going to buy any more super boxes because they've all been kind of like not so um, great. Um, but all the Mimi boxes that I've purchased recently have all been like wow and mainly because I really like trying new products but super boxes contain full-size products and if that product is not good then I have like the whole jar or the whole bottle with me and so um, 
I think mini boxes are the way to go for me because they do have a lot of deluxe samples. I really hate um, foil samples because you can only use it once and once you open it you have to finish it within like a really short period of time and I just don't know what to do with it because it's just lying there. But deluxe samples are great because I mean at least they're in sizes that you can kind of like still keep at home but you can finish if you don't really like it. But um, yeah so this box was okay but it's not really great but I hope that my husband will enjoy using some of the products at least. So um, thank you for watching and have a nice day. Thank you. Bye.